I think there have been quite a few uh, trials of late that have uh, shown that uh, essentially um, bridging therapy, um, so IV thrombolysis plus mechanical thrombectomy um, is, is uh, almost equivalent um, to um, essentially direct thrombectomy alone without IV thrombolysis. Um, however, one of the, the sort of drawbacks of uh, the trials are that a lot of these trials were uh, confined to the mothership, uh, to comprehensive stroke centers. So I think it remains to be seen um, how well um, the bridging therapy group does in, say, a drip and ship model uh, for those patients who present to a primary stroke center. Um, so I think overall, um, IV thrombolysis still has its uh, still has a very important role to play, uh, and it's encouraging to see that um, you know to to a certain extent they, it can potentially increase the uh, successful reperfusion rates without necessarily increasing the symptomatic intracranial hemorrhage. So I think, um, and also with the advent of uh, tenecteplase now being the latest uh, clot busting drug um, to work, I, I, I strongly suspect, I think moving forward, there, there might be, uh, there, we might need future trials looking at uh, bridging therapy with tenecteplase versus um, direct thrombectomy alone.